Congratulations to all the grade eight graduates. The French award goes to the student who consistently makes an effort uh, to speak French on a daily basis. They have a desire to learn and they always put forth their best effort. The recipient uh, for this school year is Ricky. Congratulations, Ricky. The valedictorian award is given to a student who is chosen to represent their whole class. This is a student who has school spirit, who is a very good student, and is a student who I've had the pleasure of teaching. And so have I. And so is Sponge. She's a, stu a student who shows perseverance, a student who has spunk, and a student who has academic excellence in all areas. Congratulations to our winner, Ava Rock. You are our valedictorian, and thank you very much for doing an excellent job being our Prime Minister. This Hello family, friends, staff, and fellow classmates. My name is Ava Ross, and I am honored to deliver this speech as your 2020 valedictorian. The 2019-2020 school year has definitely been something to remember, and I think I speak on behalf of all the students when I say that this year has been a roller coaster. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to Mrs. O'Brien, Ms. Gloom, all the teachers, EAs, custodians, Parent Council, Ms. Nicole, and my fellow student parliament members, who helped make this year and all the events possible. My next thanks goes to the parents and guardians of this year's graduates. Whether you stayed up with him or her to help them study for an upcoming math test, or help them finish their homework, or even just push them that extra mile to reach for their goals, we thank you. Now I'd like to thank my fellow graduates for making our last year together before high school as memorable as it was. In addition, I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates for any personal goals or achievements that were accomplished throughout the, throughout the academic school year. My last thanks goes to the teachers on behalf of the class of 2020. Thank you for your constant encouragement, for always having faith in every single one of us, and for instilling in us the self-confidence we needed in order to reach our goals. Although our time at St. Pius had been cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the memories we managed to make throughout the year will last us a lifetime. Some of those memories include Ms. Kavik's birthday, where two-thirds of the girls in the intermediate classes got together and did TikTok dances, the ping-pong tournament in Ms. Clark's class that remains unfinished, watching the boys' basketball team get excited for their Saturday tournament, playing with the girls in our semifinals volleyball game at MTS, and participating in the cross-country meet that our school worked so hard to plan when our original meet was cancelled. Aside from all the memories and laughs we shared together, the truly amazing thing about St. Pius is that there are so many students with completely different, but nonetheless amazing talents. As we start the next chapter of our lives in September, I encourage each and every one of you to take advantage of the programs available to students in order to bring out and highlight every skill and talent you have. By joining these programs and getting involved within the school community, you will open up so many new doors and opportunities and find new passions that you never knew you had interest in. As Ms. Clark always says, happiness is the number one most important thing in life. So let's all take a moment to reflect on the joy that the past few years have brought us. While friendships came and went, while goals were set and reached, and throughout all the good and bad days, we were all able to learn from one another, and that's the beautiful thing about school. Lastly, as Michael Josephson once said, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. So graduates, it has been the result of our ambition to do our personal best, to persist, persevere, and perfect many projects. As individuals and as a team, that on this day, June 25th, 2020, our many hours of hard work, dedication, all the unexpected tests, and late nights spent working on projects and poster boards have finally paid off. We did it. We're graduates. Over the next four years, the next 48 months, 1,060 days, 35,040 hours of priceless friendships, remarkable times, and endless memories, I ask you all to cherish and live every moment like it's your last. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Panthers, felicidades. You should be very proud of all your accomplishments over the years. Your graduation is a very important day. I am very proud of every one of you. Remember, success is a journey, not a destination. Best wishes in the future. I am going to miss you all very, very much. Uh, buena suerte, good luck, and please celebrate. Hello, grade eight graduates of 2020. What an incredible year you've had and interesting. I am so happy to have taught many of you or coached many of you, and I just want to give you some wishes. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. 
Today you are you that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Wherever you go, go with your heart. You do you. Don't let anyone else tell you who you are. What? Sponge, what? Well, I can't hear things. Sponge, what's going on? What? 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 Oh, got my headphones on. Oh, that's why. Hey, guys. Mr. McNeil here. Hey, listen. Here, it's a big day for you guys. Awesome. Hey, big day for Spongy and I, too. We're retiring. Whoa! Together. Can you believe it? Hey, listen. Spongy and I just wanted to tell you. Hey, best of luck. Yeah, what? What? What, Sponge? Yeah, I know it's not a normal graduation, Sponge. I know that already. Hey, listen, we're just perfectly okay. Just like my retirement, perfectly okay. There'll be other times and other graduations down the road, but we're really proud of you. Have an awesome, awesome future. Enjoy high school and all the experiences moving forward. Don't worry about this one. This will certainly be one that people talk about. The graduation of 2020, and you're a part of that, so you should be proud. Uh, what? Sponge? No, Patrick didn't graduate with us. Sorry, he didn't make it yet. So he didn't get past grade three. Wait a minute, I didn't get past grade three. So, hey, listen, have a great future ahead. We're going to miss you at the school, but you guys are going to be awesome and just keep moving forward. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Sponge and I are out. So what? What, Sponge? What are you going to do in the future? Uh, we don't know. We're going to go lie on a bikini beach somewhere. Okay. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Some of you I have taught for a couple of years. Others I have taught since you were four years old. I am so proud of the people you have become. I hope that you take this world by storm and that you enjoy every moment of your next challenges. Congratulations again.